Hey there, I'm Raja and welcome to another Unity 5 2D car racing game tutorial series. Now I was pretty busy for a few days and there was also some problem with my internet connection so I'm really really sorry for not uploading videos uh, for a few days. So I'm back now and as you can see as of now our game looks great, our car can move and there we have also added a boundary so that our car cannot move beyond this point. But the problem is now our game looks pretty boring without any enemies. So what we're gonna do is in this video we're gonna add some enemy cars to make it a real game. So let's get started. So as, uh, as you guys know and if you remember that in the first video I gave you a link from where you can actually download the car sprites. So if you have that link already you can go there and download all the car sprites if you haven't already done that or I will probably also give a link in the description of this video to download those things. So if you have downloaded that you probably will have this stop double vehicle sprites back. Now from here I'm gonna I'm gonna select the cars that I want. I want all these cars. I'm gonna select these cars and from here I'm gonna select my sprites folder in Unity. Select the sprites folder and I'm gonna drag and drop drag these cars inside my sprites folder. So all these cars will be imported into my game. I was going to delete that because that's a duplicate copy. So first of all we'll use this car as our enemy car. So let's drag this car into our inspector. I mean our hierarchy. So I have dragged it. Now select this resize tool or this whatever the tool it is called in 2D. Select this tool and we're gonna make it a bit smaller so that it mm, fits the size, matches the size of a car. So I think this should be good. You can do it whatever size you want. So now what we wanna do is uh, what are you gonna do? Yes, now we're gonna move our car. So let's do that. So in order to do that we're gonna have to write a script. But before that as you can see our car is moving on opposite direction. But we want our car to be moved in that direction. So select the car from the hierarchy and from the transform component change the Z position of the car, uh, I mean Z rotation of the car. From the rotation change the Z rotation of the car to 180. And now the car faces our player. So now what we want to do is we want to add a script to our car. So click the scripts folder and click create new C sharp script. And we're gonna name it enemy car move because we're gonna use it to move our car so double click that to open it mono develop and hopefully it opens fast yes <laughs> here we go so here is our enemy car move script so this is the script that we're gonna use to move our car so the very first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna create a public float speed variable so this is gonna define the speed by which we want our car to be moved so let's put five F here. Uh, we can also, since we have made it public, so we can also uh, edit it from the inspector. So in the update method, what you're gonna do is we are going to move our car, or we are going to move our car towards the direction of this car. So for that, we have a function called transform dot translate. So using transform dot translate, we can move our car towards a particular direction. So inside the translate function we have to pass a vector 3 which will denote the direction of the car, the direction vector of the car. So inside the translate function, inside the translate function we're gonna create a new vector 3. So let's go and create new vector 3 and now inside the vector 3 we need two things okay we need three things first of all we need to pass uh, the x component of the vector so uh, first of all let's take a look that we don't want our car to be moved in the x direction okay we want it to be automatically come from up to bottom uh, so we want it to move vertically in the y direction only from 
here to like this from here to here like this okay so we don't want it to move like this this this, this will literally look crazy so that is why we want to make our x component 0 so in the vector 3 we're going to make our x component 0 and then in the y component we're going to put 1 and then again in the z component we're going to put 0 so that basically means that we want our car to be moved in the in the y direction okay we enter our car to be moved in the y direction and within the, with that we also have to multiply it by the speed by which we want our car to be moved so let's go and multiply it with speed the variable we have created to uh, created to do uh, I mean declare the speed of our car and then we're gonna multiply it with the time dot delta time so what will happen is our car will be moved or translated in the direction in the y direction that we have passed here with this speed okay so let's go and save that script and we have to also add it to our car so from the hierarchy just go ahead and select the car and drop this script what is that yeah drop the enemy car script here okay as you can see the speed is 5 so let's go and run it uh, let's zoom out of it so let's go and run it to see what happens as you can see our car moves in the direction that we want it to move so it's pretty awesome okay so now we have to uh, we have to do something we have to create a way by which we can randomly spawn this car whenever we play the game so we want something we want a mechanism by which one can uh, randomly spawn this car here and there and here and there after one after one after one another so that is what we're gonna do in the next video in the next video we will probably we'll add we'll randomly spawn our car and then in later videos we'll add from the sprites folder as you can see we'll add all these cars so randomly all these cars will come one after one after one and we have to dodge all of them so it's gonna be pretty awesome so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. If you have any questions, just write those in comments and please subscribe and like and share. Your likes and subscribes and shares really help me. So thank you very, very much for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.